Uh, this is it. Here we go. Boss fight of Egypt. Wait, out of curiosity, what do they say? <laughs> okay, that's what it says. All right. You got through the pyramid, but you. But we're in the me. pyramid still. Rockwell, -roll, Phantom Virus. That's right, Scooby. You found the Phantom Virus, and you oh can't my get God! Away. Don't worry. Why are you treating him like this baby that doesn't know what he's doing? The off the sides, but don't fall off yourself. When the shield comes down, throw a pie at the Phantom Virus. Three strikes, and he's out. Oh, did we get to kick his ass? Let this be the final boss. What the hell? Oh, I see. They can't touch each other. They're allergic to each other. Come on! Oh, wait, what? Nice. Nearly lost my chance there. And now there's three! Uh-oh, and they're mega-sized for some reason. Whoa, whoa! Oh my god, that was not a good idea. What's funny is that eventually there was a Scooby-Doo TV movie or a direct-to-video movie that had them in Egypt. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. And of course they keep respawning. Fuck! Because of me being stupid. Didn't I learn anything from Dark Souls? Alright. Nice. And of course he respawns. Alright, let's get them away from the pie. So now I can only take two more hits, and this is not the... Oh my... Ah! Wait, that's the best course of action. Or one of them just... Or they could just kill themselves if I'm lucky enough. Alright, wait for it. Jesus got lucky. Oh my god. Nice. Oh my god. Let's see. Off! Oh my god! Oh, damn. Get away from the damn pie. Idiot. Idiot. Oh, mother. And then... Finally. 
And then watch, there's gonna be four of them, they're gonna be even bigger than before. Yep. Jesus, motherfucking Christ. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I need to try and make it, make it so that they kill themselves. This is the longest boss fight of them all. <laughs> it's a good thing I made a new video to do this. Alright. And of course they're like, ten times slower. I'm back. Hi, I'm on the boss fight as you can see. Yeah, I see you're doing the stupid mummy boss fight. Yeah, and the thing is, I barely- I can't get that ammo because they're surrounding it. I know, that's how I felt during the boss fight. They just surround it and you can't get it. Oh my god. One time I actually got one of them to commit suicide. Because they bumped into the other- the other dudes? No, it just kind of walked off. <laughs> oh. And of course, they wow. keep bumping into each other and that's gonna result in my death. <laughs> yeah, I died here. I died here a couple of times because of I couldn't get the ammo. I didn't get any ammo. Mario 2 quote. <laughs> All right. Jesus Christ. This is going to take forever. Cuz I because Dark Souls conditioned me to be difficult to be careful with everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! They... He could have went off the edge, oh my god. Because of course they have to die twice before they die for good. Yeah. Oh my god. Ooh, 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 whoop, 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 whoop. Nice, got some ammo. I'm gonna try and stockpile it, and you know what, I may end up speeding this part up. Yeah. Yeah. It's taking forever. Yeah. Wow, I barely got the ammo. <laughs> And there it is again. I'm gonna have to, like, stockpile it. Doesn't help there's four of them, so I can't really hit them. And there's, like, no real way to separate them, and of course... Oh my god, are you serious? It's like, there's this invisible force preventing him from going off the edge. <laughs> wow. Look at how many times am I circled. Oh my god, nice. Yeah. And sometimes they, like, go back, like, so far. What?! See?! Look at that. Now I'm gonna repeat all of this again. Well, then again, the reason why I'm all I took so much damage was because I got reckless. Alright, I finally killed one, but then... Wait, they don't come back. Hmm. That's helpful. So the game does know its limits. And then of course he could kill you right there, right? Yeah. It, like, he can hurt you if you stand in his way, right? Or you don't know? Huh? Do you know if he could hurt you if you stood in his way? I think he can. Let's go get some food. Let's go get some food, yeah! You're gonna get lots of food in the virtual world. Oh, barely survived that. Jesus. Alright, here we go. 
amusement park. This is it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when you made it to the amusement park, weren't you on like zero lives? Yeah, I had zero lives. And I, I and I still have twenty five. <laughs> I don't understand how you do, but you do. Oh, shucks. No time for rides, Scoob, that's right. You know, I need to look up in the movie, like, what order the levels were in. Yeah. Yeah, because in the game, there's only seven levels, and in this order, they are... Um... Oh my god, clowns. 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 Pesky clowns. Yeah. Um... Let's see, in the game, the order is Japan, um, Ancient Rome, um, the Arctic, um, Prehistoric Times, um, Downtown, the Amusement Park. No, 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 Downtown, Egypt, and the Amusement Park. Um, and you know what? I forget what order they were in, but, um, the first level was on the moon, not in the game. Um, yeah. the second level was Rome, like in the game. Then the third one was Prehistoric Times, they skip over the Arctic. And then after the Prehistoric Times, I think they just do a montage of levels, which include Japan, the Arctic, um... And a bunch of other levels. And then here's the thing. Downtown and the amusement park are one level in the movie. You get hmm. that? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, nice. Somehow I keep surviving this crap. <laughs> Somehow. What? <laughs> it's because of Shrek Treasure Hunt, because that's the mute, the music from that um one level where he's climbing on the chains keeps that overly majestic heroic music. Yeah. Um. It keeps popping up in my head anytime I do jumps like that. Like how Shrek has to charge up his jumps. And then anytime he jumps, he make he makes this cartoon spring sound effect and when he lands he makes a loud thud. Hey. A haunted house! <laughs> Go inside and check it out, Scoob. <laughs> Fred wants Scooby to die, confirmed. Rotted house? Uh -uh. Too bad it's the only place you can go. Doesn't Dracula pop up in here? Yeah, he does. I am Dracula. It sure is dark in what is a man? A miserable okay, little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Rolf? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, only... Oh, here's the thing, though. There's Dracula. What? Um, when you kill Dracula, he, like, splits into three, three bats that come at you, which is annoying. Yeah, I noticed that. Giant blades, just like the movie. No, the the live action movie. Did you see the live action movies? Oh my God, Charlie Brown cut out ghosts that respawn. <laughs> yep. Mm. You waste your pies on them. Oh, you died. Thank God Dracula has a range. And they, like, home in on me, the bastards! They're assholes, aren't they? Yeah, Dracula's now the prince of assholery. 
Wow, what an asshole! Asshole! What an asshole! Yeah, you're an asshole! Asshole! Oh no! Dracula! And they. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Oh my god. He, he almost did a harm on accident. <laughs> mm. Oh, how about this? I got it. Hang on, let me try something on the next Dracula. If the ghosts would let me. And I couldn't because I didn't have enough time. Silly me. Uh, you like, you think Dracula would come towards you trying to bite Scooby, but no, he does like a supersonic bat screech. <laughs> oh my god, why did I do that? I have no idea. Because I, I did him. that, not the game. Oh, wait, yes, there we go, that's how I do it, I guess. China. Oh my god, the ghost! Charlie Brown. No, no, no. Oh, if Dracula is attacking us, then Charlie Brown's also attacking us. <laughs> Charlie Brown. Have you ever done the cha-cha slide in your school? Uh, no. No, I don't know if that's the actual name, but... Basically, there's a move called Charlie Brown where you gotta rock back and forth. Yeah. Like, I, it's hard to describe the move, but basically you have to, like, jump back and forth on one leg, switching between legs, and, like, basically do a rock of sorts. Alright, there we go. I have my PS1 watch chips on order. Oh my god! <laughs> Schnick's reaction to hearing I, I have my PS1 watch chips on order. Oh my god! Oh my god, thank you! Mother! Mother! Mother, out of that shit! I'm out of that shit. Oh my god. Oh, no more. And I got a life. Yay, 25. And a pie. <laughs> I thought you almost had 30. Yeah, I have not gotten to 30 this whole time. Those of you placing my bet placing your bets on me getting it, I'm sorry. You lost the lottery. Yeah. Oh, I'm dodging this damn clown, and I'm dodging this damn rabbit. You stupid clown! Stupid rabbit! Silly rabbit! Tricks are for kids! No. You you know those were the worst commercials ever, because the kids were just pure assholes. Yeah. Stupid dog! You make me look bad! Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, with Lucky Charms, the kids are trying to steal away, um, the Lucky Charms as well, but you can argue that that's a treasure trove he's trying to guard. Yeah. With the tricks, Rabbit, all he wanted was the damn cereal, and they would never let him get it. For no reason. Yeah. Yeah. I felt bad for the guy. I always wanted the Rabbit to get the tricks. Just like how people want Charlie Brown to kick the football. <laughs> In fact, what's funny is that before the original author of the comic strips died, um, he was actually asked if he would make a strip where Charlie Brown finally got to kick the football, and he said, no, that would, defe that would defeat the purpose of the comic. And then just before his death, right when he finished writing creating the final strip, he actually expressed regret at not letting him getting to kick the football. <laughs> and then, of course, Family Guy showed what would happen if he got to kick the football. A parody? Yeah, like, Family Guy does one of its cutaway gags where Lucy holds the ball, um... Scooby -dooby -dooby. And then, um, Charlie Brown flips the... Flips on his back and quote unquote kills himself. <laughs> and then Pete and then Lucy tells him to do it again. And then right before Charlie Brown could start running, Peter actually 
I, I think he beats up Lucy at one point and tells her to let him kick the football. And, like, she holds it for him. He kicks in. He's just like, yay! <laughs> wow. Are we getting close to the final boss fight, Schnick? Yep. Oh, God. Are you ready? Maybe. At least I have a bunch of lives stockpiled. For yeah. now. Yeah, here's the thing though, if you take one damage, the boss fight's unwinnable. This must be the entrance to a medieval <clears throat> ride. Medieval yes. ride. Who knows what the phant- Well, wherefore? Oh my god. All oh, right, the maze in this is in this level. <laughs> yeah, this level was an asshole because those catapults are fucking crazy. Yeah, just like Sunday fun day. <laughs> But the ones you'll find in this hedge maze won't be friendly, Scooby. So watch out. Yeah, they're living Venus fly traps. <laughs> like Jimmy Neutron <laughs> Jet get Fusion. Close to them and they try to slap you. Oh yeah, I see. <laughs> Pesky and bunny. There's a rabbit throwing carrots at you for some reason. Yep. It's the trick. Like I said, it's the tricks rabbit trying to beat up everyone who won't give him the damn tricks. Oh wait, you know where there was this one commercial that was like a complete dick? What was it? So, it was a Got Milk commercial. Alright? Okay. So, this guy comes in with a bowl of tricks, and then he starts laughing maniacally, and he unzips himself, and it reveals that he's the tricks rabbit. And he's like, yes, I finally got me some tricks! And then he grabs a milk cart and starts to pour it, and then a single drop comes out. He's like, <gasps> and then it cuts to the Got Milk logo. Wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> See, there's a there's a term called Squidward torture porn. Well, there's Trix Rabbit torture porns. When you ever get, if you ever get the chance, you need, look, you need to look up the Mysterious Mr. Renter's Top 10 Worst Squibber Torture Porns. Wow. Because you know what that, those kinds of episodes are, right? Where Squibber just gets tortured by Spongebob? Yeah, Spongebob, Patrick, particularly Patrick. And the thing about those episodes that makes them bad is that Squibber does, like, nothing wrong. Yeah. To warrant it. I mean, at least... I mean, there were a lot of early Spongebob episodes where he got tormented, but usually he had it coming. Yeah. Like, um... In... There's that one episode where Squidward actually drives Sponge and Pat away from being friends, and as a result, the two of them try to become his friend, and he's... <laughs> um, and he's basically tormented by it. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's that one episode where Squid's day off, where Mr. Krabs has to go to the hospital, and Squidward's left in charge of the restaurant. So he tells Sponge to manage the cash register and the kitchen, and he goes home to relax. And then he ends up becoming extremely paranoid because he thinks SpongeBob's gonna somehow wreck the Krusty Krab, and he keeps rushing back and forth to see if everything's fine. <laughs> yeah. And then it gets to the point where he thinks Spongebob is stalking him to see if he's cutting. And then there you go. <laughs> and then... And then see, even in a more recent Spongebob episode that was like in the modern era, um, Skill Crane? Um, Squidward gets beat up, beat up by a bunch of construction workers at the end, but he deserved what he got because he kept... Um trying to win at that claw machine, and, um, he kept losing, and then Spongebob showed him a secret of how to win, and he ended up abusing his newfound power. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. That road is wider than any you've had to cross before, Scooby. Oh Try using God. the catapults to get you across. They should do the trick. Right. Oh my God, Scoob. I vaguely but... remember, doesn't he get rid of everything, even the deed to his house? 
No, that was the episode, the paper. Yeah. Either that, or it was, or it was the one where he quit the Krusty Krab. Here it comes. These things suck. Yeah. No, no, no. It was def. I think it was definitely the paper where Squ Squidward basically trades everything he has to get the sheet of paper, the, of the sheet of wrapping paper Sponge had. And then he finds out the paper doesn't work for him because he has no imagination. <laughs> wow. And then Patrick ends up taking the paper away from him, and then he wraps his chewing gum in it and throws it in the garbage. But, here's the thing. Probably the most hated episode of Spongebob for me is the episode Good Neighbors. Yeah. I hated that episode even when it was first even when it was originally when it going on the air. Yeah. Um, because basically all it is is Squibber trying to enjoy his Sunday. His Sunday, which is his day off from work. And, um... Oh my... What the... Oh, that's how we do it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Squibber's just trying to enjoy his Sunday, and Sponge and Pat, who put on these weird fezes of sorts, which I now hate even more because of that shitty game Fez. Um... So... Yeah, they put these weird fezes on with, the, with these weird Illuminati symbols, and they try to be good neighbors to Squidward. So they basically made him a cult. Yeah, they basically tried to make him join this weird cult of, of good neighbors. And here's an example of what happens. So, they try to paint Squidward's house for no reason. Night. Yes, I'm going to bed soon. So they try to paint Squidward's house, and they end up painting him these weird- painting him in these weird polka dots, and then these random bystanders come by and they think he's sick. So they take him to the hospital. What the hell? Oh, never mind. I guess I'm not getting that chest. <laughs> um... Those multiple chests, but... eh, I don't care. Um... So, basically, Squidward had arranged for a massage, and while Squid's at the hospital, Sponge and Pat decide to take his massage away from him, and when he, by the time he comes back, the guy who gives the massage leaves. Wow. So, they did that for no reason whatsoever, and then later on, he gets a security system to keep them out. And then the security system ends up booting out Squidward, and then the house goes on a big rampage, destroying the town. And then, because it's Squidward's house, the whole town blames it on him, and he, and they claim he has to do community service for the rest of his life, every Sunday. Oh my god. Alright, I'm ignoring these people. And I'm ignoring Robin Hood over here. Oh my god. These spinning bars will hurt They will hurt you even though they're moving at one mile an hour, so silver surfer logic. <laughs> at least they're easy to dodge. Yeah. Come yeah, on, checkpoint. It just push you back, but it doesn't. It hurts you for no reason. Yep. Ugh. <laughs> and then there was that episode where Squidward was actually a part of his own club of some kind. I forget what it was called, but... But, basically, Sponge and Pat sneak in out of curiosity because they notice he's so happy that to be there. And then he gets kicked out because no one that's not an, octop that's not an octopus is not allowed inside. 
And because of that, Squibber gets banned. And yeah. then the rest of the episode, first they try to make him join his uh, their own club, and then later on they try to get him unbanned. And then they end up dressing up in a sock that makes him look like an eel, which is something that the, the club is afraid of. And then Squibber quote-unquote saves them, which gets him reinstated. But then Sponge and Pat start applauding him for his work, and that blows his cover and he's banned again. Mm. Oh my god. So yeah. Did you die in that catapult before? I died on the one coming up here in a bit. Oh god. The hell? Oh my god. Of course my dad told me to go to bed, but I ha I'm gonna finish this and then I will um if quiet it doesn't down take a bit. you forty minutes to get through the boss fight. Yeah, and I better not die here. Because they're <laughs> Shrek treasure hunt. <laughs> I swear to God, because of the platforming in that game, I'm just going to be reminded of it infinitely. Wow. That's how much Shrek has affected... Bad. Well, Shrek Treasure Hunt was, um, clunky, but it was overly forgiving. Yeah. There and was then the we have part a... where, where Shrek fell into the lava and grabbed his ass and went... Argh! <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I see how you died. I just have to time it right. Yep. Oh my god. Alright. One, two, three. Nice! Is it like that again? Yeah, it should be like that. There's gonna be one. Nope, we're good. Backwards. We're good. Ha ha! Perfect! Bye bye, Robin Hood. No, miss your hood. Miss your hood. Miss your hood. Wasn't that the Merry Men from Shrek? Yeah. Oh my. Ah! Night! Stabby, stabby. Oh god. Oh sh. Oh my god, ha <laughs> ha! Like you did it, Scoob! The Phantom Virus has nowhere left to go! Nowhere left to go, oh dear! I'm starving! Scooby dooby doo! Start with your stabby stabby move, you idiot! Okay. Nice. Oh Jesus, I have 29 lives, so I guess I never will get 30 unless I go back to an earlier level. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, dear Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm saving the game quick. Last video, coming up. Yay. <laughs> no. Here we go, the BS boss fight. Yep. That drained all of my lives. Gave me two game overs, and then caused me to break the disc. <laughs> I, I'm gonna sh I'll, at the start of the next video, I'm showing them the aftermath of that. <laughs> yeah.